Hi, what are you doing? I'm up in an hour. <laughs> Whereabouts are you? I'm oh, beautiful. That's a very smart little uh, gizmo you got. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. And that's Jenny trying to be quiet. <laughs> action! Is that action? Action! <laughs> action man! Um, okay, welcome to part three of our van tour video. Thanks for watching parts one and two if you have. If you haven't watched them, then I will leave links to them around about here somewhere. And in this uh, in this episode, we're going to talk about the water system, how we fill up with water, our sink and our shower. So thanks for watching. OK, so the water system is situated on the left hand side of the van. Now, I wanted the water system to be flexible. I wanted to carry about just under 100 litres of water. However, I didn't want a fixed tank uh, that was under the van, primarily because there are a lot of places in Australia that do have water restrictions, and you just can't go to places and fill up with a hose 100 litres of water. So I wanted uh, enough water to be fixed in the van with then portable storage uh, using portable containers that I could then go and use to fill the tank up so um, on the left hand side of the van I've got a 30 litre fixed uh, water container then just behind that there is a 12 litre uh, hot water system this is 12 volt to 40 volt and then it's all powered by a sure flow water pump um, now this provides us with enough power um, to uh, have a shower from and also enough power to wash the dishes this is dishes and such like now the advantage of having I think as well has having the water system like this is that you know you've only got about 30 liters of fixed water and so it makes you think about using water yeah, um, it makes you a bit more water conscious now I'm just going to show you everything in situ this is the water tank so it is basically drinking water compatible it's 30 liters uh it's a 30 liter square tank and it fits nicely just uh between the wall of the van and one of the legs of the bed this is the hot water system uh it holds about 12 liters of hot water it is a 12 volt 240 volt um, it draws about 30 amps so normally uh, to get it to temperature we will only use it as such when we're driving uh, and then just there's a thermostat in it that keeps it keeps it hot and then it actually doesn't draw that much power once it's once it is at temperature This is all then uh, fed into the system via a shore flow uh, water pump, draws about 5 amps and pushes about 13 litres of water per minute. Um, again, it's 12 volt um, and it's really, it is powerful enough to have a nice shower and for doing all the dishes and stuff. So the way that it works, we have two 20-litre uh, portable water containers and a 10-litre water container. 
Now this then allows us to go to any uh, sort of public water supply, whether it's in a park, a petrol station, uh, anywhere, and it allows us to fill up those water containers. And what we then do is either store them, if the water container, the fixed 30 litre is full in the van, we can then store them in the back of the van for when we need them. Uh, or we can obviously just top the 30 litre up and then refill this so that we have approximately 80 stroke 90 litres of water at any one time. Now to get the water from one container to the other, um, basically what we have is one of these 12 volt uh, four wheel drive showers and what I've done is I've cut the shower head off the end of it and put a hose connection on um, so basically that hose connection then clips into a filler hose which you can see there in the orange and then we just pump it from the portable container through into the fixed 30 liter container using this shower hose And then just to top it all off, we have the ability to bypass the wall, the fixed water container totally by using mains water using this white connector here. Now this could go from a tap somewhere, uh, whether it's in a caravan park or wherever, and it goes straight into the uh, water system and bypasses the fixed water tank. So the sink itself is a half size sink, uh, so it's not uh, taking away much of the workspace, uh, but it is big enough for obviously doing washing up and such like and deep and deep enough to hold a fair amount of water. Now, um, the actual tap itself is a multifunction tap, so obviously it can be a tap, but it also comes out and extends and allows us to use it as a shower. Now uh, we do, we have the ability to have a shower inside. Uh, we we'll do that in a different video, but generally um, because it's Australia, the weather's pretty nice most of the time. So we can actually um, use the shower outside. Um, there's enough water in the hot water system for two showers and two comfortably warm showers um, although you just can't sit and let the water run continuously thanks for watching this video hope it hope you found it useful please like and subscribe and comment if you have any questions uh, now what I'm going to be doing uh, shortly is um, just going through in depth into the van build so separate videos on each stage of the van build and they will be under the van build playlist once again thank you please like subscribe and comment if you have any questions hello world wake me up to another good good morning time to go